so this so I was joking with Pat because he he get he had an idea where he wanted to talk about another no effects thing. And I was just like, Pat, we can't just be. And now the irony is I want to talk about every time I die later in the episode. And I was like, we can't just be like a no effects. Every time I die, dance, Gavin dance podcast. <laughs> um, but at the same time, he showed me this and I laughed my fucking ass off. Cause at the end of the day, fat Mike, if he's not anything, he's goddamn hilarious. So Pat explain what we're looking at right now. So for uh, Black Friday, uh, it was it was I was emailed because I'm on the obviously I'm on the email list. <clears throat> this is a the the cease and desist uh, special I guess for Black Friday. It's a uh, cease and desist 182 black T-shirt, uh, and this is a uh, a, a portrayal of Blink 182 in its full form. We've got the Marks, we got the Toms, we got the Travises, and who's that little guy over there? It's no effects or sorry, Fat Mike's friend own, uh, friendly owned what? Uh, Matt Skiba. <laughs> so it's the four piece of, uh, and it says no effects right above him uh, in their classic <laughs> bullseye logo. Yeah, and I was just looking at it. I'm like, this is the perfect level of stupid. Yeah. It's funny too, because it's like the, the, the shirt itself paints Blink-182 into a corner where it's like, the, if they, they just kind of have to let him do it. Do you see where your cursor is right now? You ha- Matt Skiba has his arm around Mark uh, around Tom DeLonge's shoulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's it's a I, I don't know if it's a uh, we support Matt Skiba uh, protest. It's about the recent um, talk of of Blink One Eighty Two and No Effects having some kind of beef. Mm-hmm. Uh, that song that we were talking about that he was supposed to be a Blink One Eighty Two song. Yeah. So this don't, I don't know exactly how deep this goes. But it is it is right up my alley as far as shit talk slash trolling. Just being a uh, dickhead. Just being an all around dickhead. It's so fucking funny, dude. So funny. Twenty five dollars. I think well earned. I that's think a that's a good price for a well t shirt. And uh, it's even I think an older picture of Travis too, because <laughs> isn't he a lot more built now? I don't know. Like that's an old question. promo picture. It's a good question. Like he's literally just using, they're literally just using their likeness. Yeah. Yeah. They're 100%. And so it's my favorite thing that, first of all, that's what the pre sale is because it's a pre sale uh, available from Black Friday through Cyber Monday. Mm-hmm. And um, it's a, it's basically, it's just a $25 shirt that I think they're just seeing how many, I like, it's still available. I checked before we did the, I mean, obviously you're doing it right now, but it's, it's still, you can still order it. It's still able to be uh, purchased all around the United States. It mm-hmm. says it's supposed to ship around uh, the 9th of December. So I, as far as I know, either you're right. This does, I think that's a great point that you brought up. The fact that this paints uh, Blink-182 into a corner in a way, because either they're going to, I would assume, fight it? Like, what is the try to get the money? Uh, sue them for using their likeness or well, they're just gonna because they're already they're already like what would what do you think the repercussions would be of this like what it would i'm assuming get a cease and desist from blink 182 well it, yeah it would go about any the same way any legal thing would go about where they would send them a cease and desist and then if he didn't cease and desist they would sue him but so like what would that they're mean? in a I mean, like they're they in a sell it? what that would mean like even like whatever ones would be sold, they would just refund it or um, well, it all depends on what Blink-182 wants to do. I'm sure I'm sure if they hit him with the cease and desist before the weekend was over, they wouldn't send out any shirts. They probably just refund everyone. But um, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's just fucking hilarious because like I said, it paints them into a corner because Blink-182 um, will want whatever happens. It's only gonna help Fat Mike, and it's only gonna hurt Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, because yeah, like most people time. are gonna. Because here's the thing: most people probably don't know this is happening. Like when I Googled it, it's like hard to find. Like it wasn't coming up right away when I Googled it. Yeah, it's not like it's not so. Blink One Eighty Two doing anything is only gonna bring a lot more attention to it, and then you run the risk of Blink One Eighty Two being like. Oh, uh, you guys are dorks now. You can't yeah. take a joke. And then it's only going to help no effects new album sell. <laughs> so <laughs> it's honestly a perfect move for fat Mike. Cause if, if nothing happens, he makes a bunch, he makes some money selling a funny shirt. Right. But if, if Blink-182 does do some shit, it, um, it only helps the album. This is so to me, this is 
the only way Blink-182 can fucking respond to this is by, like, on at least if they do a televised uh, performance, obviously, or at, on their tour, at some point they come out in these shirts or at least one of them shirt, like one of them comes out wearing the shirt. I feel like that's the only way they can, they can even respond. Like, yeah. With keeping, but do they, but at this point, do they really give a shit about credibility? Do you think, do you know what I mean? Like, is, is there a move where they're going to be like, well, we don't want to give them a cease and desist and just be look, look like assholes. Or <clears throat> do they have their sense of humor intact enough to be like, <laughs> these guys, uh, you know what? Give me a large of that some bitch. Mm, I hope that, that I hope it's that. It's I, think that, that. I think they have a sense of humor about it. Because even still, I don't know how malicious this is, but maybe this is kind of a maybe they're giving just, them the, the money to Matt Skiba because they're like, hey, you kind of got fucked over by these guys. Uh, they're probably not doing that. Or maybe they're trying to get the money they would have gotten from the fucking Zigis. The I think he's just. I think he's just. I I think they were probably drinking, and he had a funny idea. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably all that happened. <laughs> and God damn it, it worked. It was real funny. Yeah. So I'm glad you brought that to my attention. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Yes. So if you so apparently if if you aren't on the mailing list already and you want to check it out, just go to their merch store. It's available through Cyber Monday. Yeah. So Maybe even was... after. Who knows. 